Uh, yeah, it's going. What up, everyone? It's Mike from Hardcore Recovery. Uh, today we're going to look at some lyrics that stood out to me. It's called uh, Exodus. This is the name of the band. It's called Shovel Headed Kill Machine. And it's uh, pretty cool uh, lyrics. And then we're going to have a, a guest on to uh, see what he thought about, about the lyrics and shit. So the name of this song is called Death and Feminine. Like crystal meth, but you know. You'll get the idea here. Okay. Life spent with lips on the glass. Another hit, just one more blast. How long can you make it last? Hit the pipe and vaporize. Feel the rush, so energize. Your lungs begin to crystallize. Try to scum the tide from another five-day ride. Don't you know you're dead inside? The world spins out of control, all amped up. You know nowhere to go. A glass house is all you know. Poison clouds, wait, poison cloud, it hangs in the air. Breathe it deep, you're the only care. It's a nightmare, not a dream, death is amphetamine. Spun and sleep deprived. The calendar burns before your eyes. Another hit for now revived. So many sleepless nights, only wet your appetite. Strike a match, torch to ignite. See the shards start cracking back. Watch them turn your world into black while waiting for the heart attack. While waiting for the heart attack. All your dreams are dead and gone. I'll tell you, it won't be long before uh, death ends this marathon. So uh, I had a two-year stretch with meth, and it, it burned my life down. Uh, so like I said, we are having our first guest on the channel. Without uh, further induction, I want to introduce Brett. Brett, what up, man? Bro. So what would you think about the first half of that song? Well, the dream. Yeah, it's. I, I don't know about your experiences, man. He has uh, five years of, of clean time, you know, from prior uh, times being in sobriety. I have three years, so right now this is gonna make uh, eight years of sobriety on our channel here. Um, I, I I lost my house on meth. I burned friendships. I scared my family. I had guns pointed in my face. Uh, so I can definitely uh, relate with this song and uh, the demon that is meth. You know, I have three years clean off of meth. Uh, thank God, you know, uh, and I, I, I never want to be a tweaker again, man. I was referred to as Tweaker Mike in Detroit, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> they don't have tweakers. They do, but people don't like them too much. <laughs> yeah, they don't like tweakers. They keep, they keep you stealing shit until... Yeah, nah, they, they don't really put up with that shit in Detroit. They don't like it. But, uh, you want to share any of your, your, your stories or uh, not? Uh, you go kids, you go, you go everything, man. And, uh, uh, I'm trying to do this. Uh, what's the more man? It's like Trey's on for me. It's either, yeah, it needs another side, the extra side, that's all good. Some people with chemical balance is a little different, so I'm not here to glorify it. Yeah, I think what he's referring to is like, if, you know, if I had just a, a little bit of clean meth, which is hard to hard to find, it would almost be like me taking it in Adderall. But then, then the fiend comes out, and, and you want to take more and more, and then next thing you know, like I'm fucking seeing shadow demons hopping on my roof, hopping off my roof, fucking thinking people are in the fucking air conditioner duct. It's like no way, no way to live, man. I, like I've had a lot of good times, like when my drinking days, you know, but that caused a whole an another slew of health shit. But like nobody wants to make, nobody wants anything to do with you when you're on that. Yeah, no, it, it's true. All my true friends, they turned their back on me because it, it was embarrassing to them uh, what I was doing to myself. <coughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna finish off this song. Um, Withered and sucked up, you're wasting away, eyes uh, sunken deep in your skull. You care not about yourself nor any other, only if the pipe is full, lick your lips as you hover around the glass, anxiously awaiting your turn. Depressed and paranoid, it's all gone to hell, and hell is your world burned. Lost everything you own, now you're, that's exactly what you were just talking about. Yeah, lost everything you own, 
Now you're waiting by the telephone for the dope man to come. All your friends and family are sickened by your need for speed, only driven to exceed. So many years, so little time for you to halt your life's decline. You're got to read, you got to read the signs. Every, it's hard to read this book because it's kind of small. My eyes are shot. <laughs> uh, everything has come unwound. You've got uh, to turn this shit around before you're, uh, before you're six feet under, yeah. You've got to turn this shit around before you're six feet underground. Okay. So fuck it. Exodus it's, what? Well, it's, it's Exodus, it's uh, right here. Deafening. Deafening. <laughs> you want to put it on? Then we can actually, well, then we'll close out. We'll listen to the song. Exodus, Deafening. And I want to give a huge shout yeah, out to the, the camera guy. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I, I don't mm -hmm. know if you want to put your, your name on there, probably not. <laughs> My name's George. George, thank you for uh, being the patient camera guy. What's your longest stretch of sobriety? Probably 13 years. 13 years? Sober? Yeah, yeah. How was that, man? Was it good? It was all right. It's, uh, you had to live square. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> you know. know? That's, 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 you got to change your whole lifestyle. Your yeah, attitude, so. your people, your friends, your... So right now you got 13 years, so you got five years, that person's at 18, uh, and I got three years of clean time. So that's uh, we're at 21 years, you hear that? Between the camera, Mr. George, Brent, and myself, we're at 21 years of sobriety on this channel. Our goal is to get to a thousand years, and, and we will get there. Yeah, it just takes time. <laughs> Oh, you got the live version? I'll put, um, you can end with me. Okay. So, I appreciate you coming uh, to the channel to check this out. Those are the lyrics. If you want to listen to the song, go to um, the playlist section of YouTube, and I will put the song up on there. Until next time, it's Hardcore Recovery.